Perplexity has recently launched something they call Perplexity Labs and I was really excited to try it out. I'm a huge fan of Perplexity. I've been using it for trend research pretty much instead of Google search because it's really good and identifying real life time data. But labs is supposed to take it to the next level. Basically, Perplexity keeps building on this workflow, starting with search and then deep research. And then now you can build with AI agent. You can use this AI agent to build things like spreadsheets and uh, reports and dashboards. In today's video, I'm just going to walk you through two use cases that I've tried that were relevant for me. And I'm also going to share my honest reflections if I'm going to be using it or not, or what could it be helpful for. And if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Elena. And on this channel, we explore how to use AI and automation to build authentic online businesses with multiple income streams without the overwhelm. I I spent over eight years in corporate working with AI and tech until I pivoted to become an AI solopreneur. And on this channel, I share tutorials, behind the scenes, tools and strategies I use in my own business and the lessons I learn along the way. So if you're a solopreneur, online business owner or creator who's trying to do everything by yourself and you're feeling overwhelmed with everything that's happening with AI out there, this channel is for you. So hit that subscribe button and join our community here on YouTube. Just quickly looking at what Perplexity Labs is. So here it says in the press release that Perplexity Labs is a way to bring your projects into life faster than ever before. And it's only available to pro subscribers. So to try out Perplexity Labs, you need to upgrade to pro, which costs $20 a month. So I myself use pro, but I turn it on and off depending on the needs. For 80% of stuff, a Perplexity free account is enough for me. But now I'm curious about this feature. So I wanted to try it out. If you decide to try out this feature, you have to upgrade to pro. If you want to use my referral link in the video description below, feel free to use that and it will get you like $10 off on your first month. I'm just going to walk you through the workflow that they're building, right? So first they started with search feature and that's available in free plan. So you have search it's pretty much replaced Google for me. It really gives good responses, better than any other LLM, I would say, when you just want to find something. Second is deep research. So similarly to ChatGPT and Claude, this is the deep research feature where you have limited amount of searches if you're on a free plan. That gives you like a really in-depth reports with more sources. It takes a bit longer time to get and also with advanced reasoning. So it's a bit more complex requests that will give you more comprehensive outputs. And then the third feature is labs. That's what we're going to try today. What it says here in the description that it creates projects from scratch. So turning your idea into completed docs, slides, dashboards, and more. So in a sense, this is basically about more or less visualizing what have you researched or certain things that you want to create. I've already run the prompt, so it took quite a lot of time. I think it took at least 10, 15 minutes each. So I'm just going to walk you through those two use cases and give my honest reflections on them. Use case number one that I tried, I'm going to show you the prompt first. This is the prompt that I used. Basically, I wanted to create a lead generating dashboard. I described my business and what type of services I would offer. And then I asked it to create a dashboard and gave specific requirements what this dashboard should include. I want to show you what results I get. Here, I see that there's a bunch of new tabs here. One is called app and that's where our dashboard lives. And then there is other one that's called assets. And here we can see all the code that is generated. If we press on steps, here we see exactly how it went about creating this dashboard. And then the sources, we see over 100 different sources that it analyzed in order to do this work. So let's look at the app. First look, it looks quite okay, right? AI automation lead dashboard. We have the leads, we have very few leads because I didn't prompt how many leads I want, which is a lesson learned for me. So it only had 10 potential clients, online entrepreneurs who want to scale with AI automation. What's their platform? What's their signal of growth? When I started to actually check those leads, I realized that it's not high quality leads, unfortunately. So for example, there was one person profile that I clicked. It said there is like not existing here. Here on Twitter, someone has one follower and hasn't been active ever. So I just realized that sadly, because I've seen other tutorials, other videos that kind of do this use case and show this great dashboards with leads, but I've never seen anyone checking them up. And unfortunately it hasn't done a good job here. 
And then the rest of the things, like the dashboard itself, it's not something that I would use, even though I explicitly prompted it to make sure that it updates. Like if I press, for example, here, I want it to update, right? So every day, let's say I would wake up and come in and then press update and it would refresh. And unfortunately, it just doesn't refresh. So probably I need to do some additional coding here. And that just defeats the purpose of this thing. So overall, I think with this use case, with generating leads, it sounds really good in theory, but unfortunately in practice, it did not deliver. I went ahead and followed up saying, can you identify at least 25 leads? The ones that you provide are very low quality and seem totally random. I just went ahead and gave me a list of AI apps, which is totally off. Then I asked it to go ahead and update it, but the refresh is still not working and it hasn't really identified 25. When we click on one of the first products here that it suggests, we can see that it's, it doesn't even have a registered domain. So it's hallucinating quite a bit. If there is a need for lead generation, I would just highly encourage you go to free perplexity account, describe your business and use the deep research feature to ask to generate like 50 leads for you after you've described your business. So you don't really need perplexity labs for that work. Deep research can actually do the work for you. If you're going to go and use on the free account, just go here and do the deep research and try it out. So the second use case I've tried was I wanted to create trend research dashboard, basically, since I am an AI automation space and solopreneur online business space, there's so much happening. So I envisioned this dashboard that would show me all the recent trends, something that I can use to come up with new video ideas or stay in the loop because it's so much happening, right? It takes so much time. So I envisioned this kind of platform. So I created this prompt, learn everything you can about these topics over the past 30 days. I want it to be interactive dashboard. I gave it some instructions and give some ideas of the platforms where it should go and look for. And this is what came as a result. This is the dashboard we have the filtering work if i would want to to sort it through the platform or like through sentiment but again first of all even though i specified only analyze train through may to july i still have some data from october 2024 from february from january the only relevant one I saw here was about YouTube going harsh on AI generated faceless videos, which could be interesting for me to do something about. It feels like there's a lot of work for not that good source data in a sense. And it's a little bit frustrating. To me, it didn't fulfill the purpose. The sentiment is fine, but it doesn't really give me anything actionable. Same thing as with the other one, it did the refresh a bit differently. When I press the refresh, nothing really happens. I started following up and asking to iterate, highlighting that the dashboard is not working properly and asking to include more trends. And it went ahead and built for another 20 minutes and just gave me text. So it didn't really improve the dashboard itself. Then I asked it specifically to update the app with these improvements and then went ahead and thought for another 15 minutes. In the end, I got an empty dashboard. I spent probably three, four credits on this one. So even if you know what you're asking for, something is not working here for me. Okay, so what's my reflections? I would say for my purpose, for my use case, for type of business, I don't see immediate value in this tool yet. Having said that, I know how fast these tools develop and improve. So maybe in a month or so, it's going to be much better and it's going to solve these issues. But my spontaneous reflection is that Claude Artifact can do much better job. Lovable can do a definitely much better job than this. The most valuable use case is if you're a consultant, if you do a lot of analysis of trends or market for your clients, then this could be just an outstanding use case for you because you can do all this research in deep research and perplexity and then you can just visualize that to your clients in a report or a dashboard. If your job requires creating sort of a presentation of some comprehensive data, I think this is a brilliant use case. Imagine how much better quality outputs you can get, how much time it can save you. If you're a consultant, if you work in a company that requires you to analyze a lot of data and then present it in a certain way, this is just a game changer for you. I just haven't really 
found the use case that would be very relevant for me. I also know that there are a couple of use cases that they mention on their homepage that are more like on a creative side and maybe that's something I would rather explore as a solopreneur, as someone who's building multiple income streams, creating membership, providing hands-on AI automation services, growing a YouTube channel, like those things I just don't see immediate value in the labs specifically. I see a lot of value in still using deep research but Labs is basically like a static screenshot and I don't need that because I don't need to share that with anyone. So all in all, for my use cases, I was not impressed, unfortunately. I'm hoping it will release some new things that will be more relevant for me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you decide to try it and if so, what was your reflection? And I will see you in the next video.